coaching player communication is such a huge part of what we do as coaches and this is just a quick message to say that when we are teaching it I never got taught this it's not something that I've ever covered on a coaching course but when we hear communication as coaches I think a lot of the time we look at it and we think it's just calling for the ball or it's maybe showing for the ball a bit of visual communication as well, making eye contact, using your hands, open body shape to communicate that you want the ball, all that kind of good stuff that we like to teach. But at the same time, it's got to be effective communication. So it's no good saying to a player, I hound my team for it all the time. They'll maybe call for the ball, but can we give an indication as well of what we want the player to do with the ball? So... If a player is on the left wing and they're calling for the ball, I don't want to just hear them calling their name to say that they want it. I want to hear on your left or off your shoulder or something, some kind of indication of where the player is and what they want them, their teammate to do with the ball. Otherwise, it's just you're asking too much of the player because they maybe haven't had chance to get that scan in, so they maybe don't know where you are or you've maybe not shouted loud enough so that the player turns and can immediately see where you are to play the pass. But if we can give a little bit of indication, a little bit more detail on the communication, then it has a massive impact on our players' ability and our teammates' abilities to play the right pass and find where we want the ball. So how do we fix this? Well, as coaches, it all comes down to those coaching points. I see a lot of coaches that will set up a drill and they'll be like, this is a communication drill, this is what we're doing, and I'll throw a a box one up there that I like to use where it's three different boxes and players have to communicate and move between the boxes and stuff. Um, really good drill, really effective, certainly at the younger ages to build on communication. But that is more about teaching them the kind of words that we might use throughout a match and um, to give them an introduction to what does man on mean, what does switch mean, all that kind of stuff. So that drill is more just introducing these phases. But we need to coach good communication. And that only comes from coaches stepping in and stopping play and moving the player, moving the ball, showing what to call and when to call it and getting involved into the weeds and the details of the session. Don't just put a drill on and stand back and watch and expect players to learn from it. We need to get involved and we need to show them what good communication looks like. And that comes from the coaches stepping in and doing their bit. Don't just expect the session or the drill to do it for you.